Hey guys, it's Nick and Zoe here, and yes, it is dark. It's 11.15 at night. We've had a tornado pass through our area. Nick's buddy has lost his shop, and we are headed to the farm to check on things. Stay tuned. seeing more trees down the closer we get to the farm. Shelters are still standing. Well, okay, there they are. There's the cow standing out in it. That's okay. They gonna stand in it. They're standing right at the line, ain't they? Yep. Let's see. Y'all have a shelter, goobers. Hey, everybody. Are y'all okay? Yeah, you're okay. Go get any shelter. They're good. They don't want their shelter. Okay, then. Starting to see some activity going on up here. I'm not sure you're going to be able to get through. No, it looks like the road is blocked right here. Oh, that's a barn in the, oh, there it is in the power lines. Yep, that's Roger's place. Well, I can't get it here until it's raining, but it looks like his barn was wrapped up in the power lines there. Yep. Well, school was canceled this morning because of power outages. I waited just a little bit longer to drive in to work this morning because we've got to go back through the area you just saw. But we'll see if they've got everything cleared up just yet. I did have a buddy that was affected last night. The debris and stuff you saw was from his shop and barn. So... I probably won't show a whole lot of that out of respect for somebody else that didn't directly affect us. So the only pictures I'll include was what was posted by the local news channel. He posted some on his personal Facebook page, and it's just not my place to share those. I was 
like the news is here this morning. Power trucks just now leaving. But they do have it back open. I've already passed. Everything looked good at Cog Hill. I'm passing G and G now and everything looks fine. I stayed a little north of our farm between the farm and the city of Clanton. So I think we're all gonna be good. But Zoe's gonna check out there once the sun comes up a little better. We showed you checking on it last night. But Zoe will get a better look at everything in the daylight, but we we think everything's gonna be okay. Let's see what Zoe found. Good morning, y'all. Well, the storms have passed and school is canceled today because of widespread power outages. So I'm running to the farm before I head to work just to be sure everything's okay in the daytime. Let's go and see how everything fared. Well, I just got to the farm and there comes all everybody. Hey everybody. Good morning. Hey Holly, did you have a scary night? It was a little bit scary, wasn't it? Shadow, you look rough, buddy. Goodness, it is cold and windy this morning. I was not expecting that after having storms move through. It typically warms up a little bit, but my goodness, it is temperatures dropping and wind is still just ripping. <laughs> we came last night and the two mama gooses were still sitting through the storm on those nests. That's dedication for sure. Everybody looks good. Pull up here and trick on the cows. Good morning. Hey, Tater. Hi, Tider. Hi, Tider. You're supposed to tell me good morning. Hey, Cinco. Y'all do okay last night? Well, that was good talk. I'm going to go check on the donkeys. Y'all have the best day ever, okay? I'll be back to see y'all in just a little bit. kind of wondered how the bees were going to fare as far as their boxes. I think they've got enough weight to them that they weren't affected. Well, it appears that everything is good. Hey, Jack! Oh, the wind. It's whipping. Come here, Jack. Come here. Hey, honey. Did you get scared last night? Was that scary? Did that storm scare you? I hope not. I hope you did good 
and you was safe because you got in the barn. Yes. Hey, girls. Come here and see me. Are y'all okay? Did Jack keep y'all safe? Yes. Hey, Pixie. Hey, Pixie. Did Jack keep you safe? I think Jack's happy to see Mama this morning. Is everything good, Jack? Hmm? Everything good? Hello, there it is. Yes. Give me kisses. All them kisses. <sighs> That's a good boy, Jack. I gotta go to work, buddy. I'll see you in a little while, okay? Okay? I love you. I love you. Bye, bud. See you in a little bit. Well, everything looks really good here at the farm. And I just got a call from the post office. I was not expecting this call from the post office until next week. But our first back batch of meat birds or broilers or meat chickens, Cornish Cross, have arrived. So, I am headed to the post office to pick up our batch of chicks, and then I'm going to run them home and get them all set up before we head into work. Okay, so there should be about 60 chicks. So we're going to, you can see they're all kind of just huddling up because they're all trying to stay warm. Let's get them all. So now we've got to get everybody counted and get them into the brooder. Well, because of all the storms and all we had last night, and it's so cold outside this morning, we've set up just our makeshift brooder. This is the same one I took to the classroom a few weeks ago. And we're going to get them into here before and let them settle in and get warm, knock off the chill before we move them out to the farm. But meanwhile, this afternoon, we'll go out to the farm and set up their big brooders and kind of show you how we do that as well. But now we're going to get all the chicks moved in, count them, make sure everybody seems to be in good health before we head off. So if you don't know the process, so we've got a chick, we dip its beak in the water, and we make sure that it's drinking. And then we'll put, we'll just do a couple of them's mouth to the food and that'll show them. And what you'll notice is that they're gonna all huddle right here where the heat is. And then they also have area to the right here that's where they can get if they need to cool off some. So we're just gonna kind of run through and do all these and they'll be ready to go. are all set up. As you see, they are already finding their water. They've found food. Everybody's huddled to get warm and they'll start spreading out as they their body level, their body heat levels out. All right guys, well we made it home from work. And I got some peepers with me, and we're going to get them all set up here at the barn. And that way we don't have any stinky chicks in the house. 
So let's get busy doing that. So like I showed you, we got all these in the mail and we have this brooder and we also have this brooder. And this is the brooder we always start with because we have a place to safely hang heat lamps. Hanging the heat lamps allows it to not be able to fall and, you know, catch anything on fire. That's very important. You know, when you're using these types of heat lights, these hang from some very sturdy hooks. We're gonna run the cords out and get them plugged in. And then we're gonna start putting some shavings in and then we'll put food and water in the birds. Different people have different needs for their breeders. We built this one with two open fronts so we can pull the wheelbarrow up to it and rake it all out and clean it when we need to. This is what we always start them in. It's mostly covered with just a little bit of ventilation right here in the front. Once it's time to transition away from lights, that's when they go to the other one where they learn to adapt before they go outside. So we don't typically use this gigantic water, but with them being at the farm, I'm not going to be able to check it every hour. So we're going to put it in, and then we're going to add a bunch of rocks in the bottom. That way, if a chick does get over in it, they'll be able to get out. Yeah. You want to help me? Yeah. Did you turn the water on? Uh, yeah. Okay. Another thing you want to do is make sure you use medicated for baby chicks. We just got this at the local tractor supply. You can use whatever your favorite brand is, but there are all kinds of different medicated crumbles. You don't have to use medicated as they get bigger, but you definitely want to start them out like that. I'm also going to offer them this bigger feeder. It's longer. You guys are probably gonna say, why such a big feeder? But you'll see very soon that it won't take them long at all to get this going. And I'm also gonna put the little one in that we had this morning. All right, little chickies are all tucked away in their brooder. They got heat, they got water and food. They're good to go. Well, we got chicks started for the year. First batch, 2024. You guys probably see lots of those through the spring and summer because that is what we feed farm to table for our community. Um, we have a wait list. Uh, people like how we raise our birds, that they're hormone free, you know, antibiotic free, all that stuff. All they come on is some chick feed and pasture. And that makes delicious, delicious birds that's good for your body. Um, <clears throat> I guess that's all I got for you guys today. We've hit storm damage and brought home some chicks and checked on all the animals and everything is good at Chestnut Hills Farmstead. We love y'all and we'll see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.